I thought we were reviewing some coffee. No, I said we were reviewing something that has caffeine and I have an experiment. I wanna see what happens when you give the coffee girl tea. family. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So this product mysteriously showed up at our door. We didn't order it and I don't ever remember reaching out to the company. Thank you though. But I'm excited because I've heard of Peak Tea and um, I've never bought it because mostly you're a coffee drinker. I am, but I remember that we tasted one of them in a keto box or a keto crate because I remember the fact that this tea is not like the bags that you have to steep for a yes. long time. They're tea crystals, so they dissolve immediately in cold or hot water. Yeah. So uh, they sent us a whole bunch of different products. I'm gonna leave a link for their website down below. We're not affiliated with them. Again, I never reached out to them and I don't know how they even got our address, but that's okay. Thank you. I'm excited about it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about real quick was this. They have this Peak Daily Immune, I guess it's like a packet. Oh, it's not like a tea. No, it's here. Oh. It's, it's kind of like those MCT oils or something like that. Like a goo you're going to consume. Yeah, and so this is a Daily Immune Elderberry Liposomal C. It's an immune support healthy skin with a thousand milligrams of vitamin C in it. All right. So it has a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, 1900 milligrams of elderberry juice, and 250 milligrams of essential phospholipids, uh, which is from non GMO sunflower lecithin. And then they also have organic apple juice concentrate, glycerin, alcohol and lemon juice concentrate. Ugh. I'm not sure if I want to eat this one. Okay, so yeah, I was looking at this and because this is considered a supplement, it's like a nutritional supplement, uh, they don't have to put like calories, carbs, things like that. Yeah. And just looking at the ingredients, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. No. But I'm not comfortable taking it because one of the ingredients is apple juice and orange juice concentrate, which tends to be sugar. Yeah. And I don't want to take all that extra sugar. I'm going to leave a link for it down below. I will tell you how much it costs. It is $48 for this box and there's 28 servings in there. So if you don't mind having that little bit of orange juice or apple juice concentrate yeah. to take an immune supplement, there, there you, you go. go. But I'm just not willing to take it because of our low carb lifestyle. But there's still some awesome um, teas to try. And I see Dr. Jason Fung on the side of this with okay. a little quote. Well, the, that's, so what do we have? Yeah. So we've this got one is immune elixir. A Robios Immunity Elixir, cold or hot water soluble. This one is Earl Grey, and it says it boosts energy. It's got gut health and reduces stress. What and then that? this one is a cinnamon herbal fasting tea. This one is a ginger green fasting tea, and they're saying that it will suppress hunger, digestion, and calm. Okay, so this one you can only mix with hot water. This is cold or hot. And then these are both cold or hot. So hot. You gave oh that one's hot. Okay, <laughs> so you already gave me the green tea, right? Yes. So I already mixed that up to make sure it was nice and mixed. And then we do have some hot water. So let's go ahead while we're trying that and mix up another one. What are we going to try? You have um, a cup over there. I kind of want to try the Earl Grey. You want the Earl Grey? Or do you want the cinnamon? Um, Let's do the cinnamon and the Earl Grey because okay. you have a cup. I have a cup. I actually went to Ikea to get some 75 cents clear ones so that we could do this. I like the packaging. Very cute. That is very, like, it's a cool way to just kind of present. Oh, yeah. It. I mean, this one's like a triangle. I love that. Okay. So I'm gonna go cinnamon fasting tea. How are we gonna remember this? Cinnamon fasting tea on my Ooh. side. And then Earl Grey on mine. Ooh, well you can tell because it's a darker tea. It says Earl Grey is a smooth and balanced energy boost with a hit of Italian ber bergamot. Supports digestion and detoxification. Looks mm. good. 
Wow, yeah, look how much darker. That's cool. I mean, uh, tea is beautiful. Okay, so we'll leave that set. Okay. Give it a little stir. A little stir. And now we'll try this one. Ooh. Can you smell it? Can you smell that cinnamon? You can, you can just. Oh yeah, that smells delicious. That smells very cinnamony. Cinnamony. Okay, so this is this one. Now I do not like teas without sweeteners, so we don't have any sweetener. In no this, right? sweetener. No sweetener. Cheers to your health. Ooh. That's very nice. It it tastes a little minty. Did it say mint? Yeah. Ginger Ooh. green. It's a ginger green fasting tea. Would you never like green tea? Mm -mm. But this is. Wow, this is very tasty. Mm. Wow. So I'm gonna say with this, we'll get into we'll do we'll do a full five things. But it it does have that little bit of a green tea taste, but there's yeah. like a, a hint of some type of mint in there. It's very nice, actually. And like I said, usually I do not like green tea. I mean, I'll drink the matcha sometimes. Right. You know, just if, because it's good for you. It's good for you, but right. like like liver. Right. <laughs> okay, you ready? Very nice. Which one are we trying first? Well, I'll try my side and then we'll switch. Okay. Can we do that? So this well, is... now I feel like we're going to give it away. Let's, oh, okay. Let's, let's each take a sip. So this is the Earl You'll have to deal with my germs. Gray tea. That's all right. Mmm. Let's... Wait, wait, wait. We'll do the Karate Kid, right? You got to Oh, turn, yeah, turn it. it. Right? You've been watching so much Karate Kid lately. That is really that nice. That is really good. And here's another tea. Rachel doesn't like black tea. Either. I don't like it. Usually <laughs> tears my stomach up for some reason, but that tastes very mild. Yeah. Yeah, I have been watching because I've been watching the Karate Kid series on Netflix. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Is any, have you guys, any of you guys watch Cobra Kai? You, you need to it. watch it. I, I finished it. You need to watch it. I'm going to rewatch it with you. I think that's going to be what our ne next show is going to watch. I feel like Daniel looks rough. You have to get past the fact that none of these people have acted since Karate Kid. Yes. But the storyline is really amazing and it literally picks up from the other ones. But you don't have to see the original Karate Kids because there's lots of flashbacks. But if you did see them, it really helped. I saw... But it literally picks up. It's awesome. I saw Elizabeth Shue when yes. I came in the other day. All of the original. It's awesome. I want to see All of the it. original. Okay, you ready? Yes. So we're going to go to Cinnamon. You're going to turn the cup for me? There you go. Yeah, these glasses were 75 cents at Ikea. Wow, that almost has like a fruity taste yeah. to it. Yeah, at first it was a little chalky, but then I really kind of got that. Mm. So. Well, you want to put this through five things? Yeah, five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutritional label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? Um, so we already talked about this, so we're going to just kind of... Put that to the side. Put that off to the side. Let's get into these. Okay. okay. So let's just get into these real quick. And I'm pretty sure they're all going to be the same. So this is yeah. the cinnamon one. The ingredients in this are burdock root, cinnamon, whole bergamot, mint, organic, caffeine free. Wow. Okay. So we don't even have caffeine in this. This one is very nice. Listen to the ingredients. Proprietary green tea blend, ginger, peppermint, licorice root, lemon peel, orange peel, and it's all organic, nothing else. And it does say that it is keto certified. Okay, so just so you say, like on the back, these are caffeine free surplants. Um, and it basically just talks a little bit about the tea, like it's screen, triple screen for pesticides, toxic mold, heavy metal. So very nice. Super interesting. So do you have a little thing over here? So it says uh, the tea made for Radiant Health Peak is made via a patented cold brew crystallization process. Lo loose leaf organic teas and plants are cold brewed in purified water at temperatures below 85 degrees for eight hours to extract active compounds at a maximum capacity. Well, what I find really interesting is Dr. Jason Fung has a quote on the side of this yes. one, and uh, we do follow him. He, it, they're, they're crediting him as a world-leading expert and number one best-selling author on intermittent fasting and the low-carb, high-fat diet. And he's saying um, intermittent fasting is an ancient proven weight loss technique that I've prescribed to thousands of patients. It works, but some find it difficult. Blending green tea with medicinal plants like ginger, licorice, and mint can also naturally reduce hunger pangs and soothe digestion. Number 
to Desert Keto based on a nutrition label. Yeah. There's nothing added. There's no sugars. The only thing that for me I question a little bit is that immunity uh, booster thing uh, just because of the fruit juices. But as far as the teas, yeah, there's no sugar, no sweeteners or anything like that. When we were actually at the RV show, there was a guy there was selling teas similar to this and they were all infused, but they were infused with honey. Oh. And I'm like, yeah, I can't have that. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, we don't like having any kind of tea without honey. I'm like, sorry. So I'm really glad that they haven't added any sweeteners to these crystallized teas. Yeah. Number three, how do they taste? I think that they taste surprisingly nice. I like the fact that they have kind of these extra things in like peppermint and licorice root. And I think that's what is taking the edge off of the, you know, it could be bitter. Yeah. Like when you have um, the green tea, I'm just not a big fan of that. So I like how they've rounded it out with some other flavors. I think it tastes really good, especially considering there's no sweetener in here. And I feel like I could drink this without sweetener and it's not going to bother me. And again... Certain things like coffee and tea, I like to have my sweetness. Yeah, in I want to take another sip of this. Because, yeah, this is not giving me any kind of like weird. I'm trying to see if there's anything added to it, but I don't see anything else. Because, yeah, I'm not getting any kind of weird stomach ache. And usually black tea hits like me right like away. an iron. <laughs> okay, number four. How much do they cost? Now, we just quickly ran to their website. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can buy this in stores, I don't know if you can buy it on Amazon. Um, they have all different kinds of teas and everything is a different price. So just so you have an idea, they do have um, teas for gut health, teas for fasting, teas for calming energy, teas for immune support. And then they have like these kind of teas, just like a black tea, green tea kind of thing. Yeah. So the prices on these things are pretty like pretty similar. So these teas here, and those little just like packages. these little uh, Earl Grey tea, it's eleven ninety nine for fourteen packets in there, so that's not too bad. It's less than a dollar a packet. Well, I know a lot of people who get tea from like Panera Bread, or mm -hmm. they go out to Starbucks and they get like the the tea, or they used to go to Tivana. Right. This is I feel like way tastier than what I've tasted at Starbucks or Panera, and that's a lot better price. Yeah. So the immunity tea which is this one right here. This is $16 for 14 packets. And then finally, the fasting teas. These are coming in at $36 for 28 packets. That's like a dollar, what, dollar thirty per tea. So I definitely don't think it's priced too badly. Again, we don't have a coupon code or anything. I'm just reviewing it because somebody sent it to us. Yeah. So, but search around online. You may be able to find better deals than what they have on their website. So number five, would we recommend these? I I'm actually really excited for people like my mom who enjoy hot beverages, but like after a certain time of day, don't really want to keep drinking coffee. Right. And sometimes- they're not like you? Yeah, they're not like me, where it's like all the time. <laughs> I also think that, you know, sometimes caffeine will stimulate somebody's appetite. And mm -hmm. if they are trying to get through an extended fast, they don't need any more obstacles to right. staying on track. Right. So this is a much better option from the, for them if you're trying to extend a fast. Yeah, I think it's a great option. If you're a tea drinker, I think these are really good. Sometimes it is nice to just have that little thing, especially if you are fasting. I know yeah. Thomas DeLaura talks about drinking some green tea or black tea or something like that when you're fasting. You're not really adding anything. Plus, it's a great, like, bridge. Like, Dr. Cyrus yes. talks about all the time, like, having that bridge instead of eating, maybe having a little tea where this is going to give you a little bit of flavor, but without having anything bad. Without having anything bad. Plus, tea makes me feel fancy and beautiful. Like, yeah. I think we need some, you know, like a bouquet of flowers or something. There's something very special about tea, and you get pretty... That's why I got you this. Exactly. You get pretty teapots and, and glasses and things like that. And sometimes we just need the aesthetics, yeah. I think, of tea. Yeah. It's just a beautiful thing. Well, that's going to be today's review video of the Peak Tea. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have a whole playlist of review videos, which I'm going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.